Welcome back to Saucy Monks. Uh, we are gonna be uh, starting the actual gameplay. I know. I'm sorry. It, it's it's a uh, it's Final Fantasy. If you played a Final Fantasy game, you you understand. If you haven't, I'm totally gonna I'm be sorry. eating uh, gummy bears during this session. I hope you're gonna give me some. All right. Looks like so, I got so many gummy bears. <laughs> I got two giant bags. That are this like overflowing. right here is probably one of the biggest reasons why more traditional Final Fantasy players will not like the game because instead of being a turn-based game like normal. God, I thought I turned off the tutorial stuff. It is a straight up action RPG, kind of like Kingdom Hearts. But it's also fairly simplistic, but I they did this in the last one. No, Final Fantasy uh, 13 was turn-based. To a degree, it wasn't as turn-based. This is like straight up action RPG. Maybe they were trying to like bridge the gap. Yeah, probably. Plus your character can teleport, which is fucking badass. I don't know, I kind of like, I prefer this kind of gameplay more. I do too, honestly. In a I, game, because like, I don't know. I feel like Turn-based combat better. feels, is more, I feel was more of a game type for the uh, NES era, the early days of gaming. Uh-huh. Whereas, as everything gets better, I think most combat systems should move to like the being free, free form. Free forming. Exactly. Yeah, I get that. Um, but I do enjoy my, you know, every once in a while having a good turn-based game. And... Dude, we're gonna be playing Earthbound on the show. We have to. I'm down. I fucking love. I've Earthbound. never played it. You've never played Earthbound. I've never played Earthbound. I played through like half of it because I had to rent the game. Uh -huh. Back in the early days of gaming, where you had to blockbuster and rent the NES games. Gross. I remember that time. God, fuck, leave me alone. And dude, that shit was such a risk though, because like you would, your parents would take you to the blockbuster and you could rent one game per weekend. Hopefully, it was a good game. And in the NES era, you could either get the perfect game and be like, "Yo, this is awesome," or you get the shit game that made you cry. And, and you're like, mercy. "I'm stuck with this for the whole fucking weekend." No, I'll just go play Super Mario Brothers again. Bam, 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 bam. Woo! We got some real chemistry here. Yes, we do. Pompito. What a weird name. We're gonna have to get the uh, NES menu, by the way. Oh, dude, I want to get that so bad. I actually want to get that for my dad as a Christmas gift, but with how rare they're freaking they are, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, not until they release more. I you know. Fucking terrible. Like, Let's get they marketed it like really $3, well. And $3,000 on fucking... It's ridiculous, on right? On eBay. And I even told myself, I should just go reserve my copy, like, my so, mine, uh, and I didn't do it. I was like... Anyway. They're gonna release plenty. Why did I believe that? Why did I believe that knowing Nintendo has done that mistake it's multiple the times in their life? The amiibo, uh, the amiibo thing. Yeah, the amiibo. Hell, even the Wii. The Wii. They did the exact same thing with the Wii, the original Wii. Did they? Dude, I was trying to get a Wii when they first came out. I think it was like in November, a couple years, like ten years ago or whatever. I always had a Wii. Almost there. No, but it took me until like April because they were so hard to come across. And then again, I pre-ordered all of them. I never leave it up to care. Oh, uh, I didn't fucking uh, pre-order mine. Well, I was only 15 at the time, and, you know, my parents didn't... My parents weren't, like, the biggest on, like, me playing video games all the time, so... You had to buy everything? I had to buy them, or I had to wait until, it was, you know, my birthday or Christmas or whatever for them to consider buying it, and that also depended on how good my grades were, and... In high school, I was a pretty shit student, to be honest. I was at the beginning, and I got my shit together towards the end. But yeah, like, I feel what you're saying and stuff. I've, I've always had to buy my games, but like, like, ever since I was old enough, like, I was able to reach up and grab the handlebars of a lawnmower. Uh huh. I've had to, like, earn ah, every fucking I, My parents were those kind of guys, yeah. Where it's like, okay, you want this? Work for it. Get it. You'll sail. And then once I learned how to work on computers, I started doing that with like the neighborhood people. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end, I was able to buy pretty much any game I wanted. Yeah, I had a. My parents actually owned a shop. Got it. We'll take a look. When I was like near like my like junior and high school year, and senior year of high school. So I would work there at their shop, and that's how I got my money for my videos and stuff, which was pretty sweet. My first purchase with that page, the, those paychecks was my Xbox 360. Nice, so, man. That was pretty sweet. 
Oh, Hi. in my defense on the whole Final Fantasy thing, my cousin is a is a shoot 'em up clone player. Ah. And he was the only one in the family who had a PlayStation. So you were big on the shooter games. Or... I wasn't. He was. Wait. So that was your game. That was my PlayStation experience. I never really got to play any of the story games. Not this. Ah! Oh my god! Help me! <laughs> you okay? The only actual uh, PlayStation game that I played that I think was actually kind of good was um, bam! One of the first Tom Clancy games. Oh, dude, Tom Clancy, boy! Like it kind of like it really revolutionized like the Steam game style. And then from that. Oh, you mean Splinter Cell? Yeah. yeah. Woo. And then, Woo. like the only other, uh, the only other console I had in my house at the time uh, was at my house. My Damn. dad got an Xbox for his anniversary. <laughs> an original nice. Xbox, and he got like Boot Force with it. Nice. Do you remember Boot Force? Okay, dude. dude, that game is one of my favorite games of all time. We gotta play that game. That game is good. Dude, that game was fucking rad. Like, cause what about the shack? Rosie, you don't hey, know what about that shack over there. Hey, what check? I only see a wall. You dirty whore. Ah. The four-player multiplayer on that game it's so dusty. was so rad. Like, the the same console. That was black when, like, you would split the screen four ways and play. Ah, old school split screen. That was so good, though. You have no idea how much fun that was, man. But well, you do, but most people don't. Because Brute Force was, like, a sleeper hit. Yeah, it was one of those things. It was hits. one of those things that either it was a console release game or you got it on the demo reels that would come out. Oh, I love those things, dude. I wish, like, huh. I kind of wish that was a Wolfenstein. A oh, I played that for the first time on a demo disc, and I was like, we're buying this game, Dad. You don't Excuse understand. It's being tough. boxed. There was a... Ah, fuck. How the fuck did you fucking cops like that? Get off me. That was also my introduction to Halo. Box suckers? <laughs> exactly. No, uh, Halo, I actually got introduced to me by accident. Uh, oh, really? Because um, my Uncle Steve would come over. Oh, dick holes. And he would play video games with my dad and Ow. watch a movie every Saturday, right? Oh. Oh, my, uncle, my goodness. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> my uncle Fucking was like, yo, fuck. I, I found that, heard about this game called Halo. Everybody's like saying it's the best. And him and my dad just sat down and played through the entire first Halo in the course of two weeks. Every Friday night, I and I watched them, that. and that was like one of the first Fuck experiences you. I ever had uh, gaming with my dad. Was like sitting there and watching him and Uncle Steve play Halo One, and then they did Halo. Fuckers. My grand, my Uncle Steve, the second they finished Halo Two or Halo One, Halo Two would come out on Christmas, uh -huh. and it was on back order. And my Uncle Steve had pre-ordered it, so the second they he, they beat that, he went and waited in the line for four hours. Got his copy of Halo Two, went back to his house. That's awesome. My dad's house, and they just played through that. And then I got the Xbox 360 for Christmas, and it came with Halo 3. That was your time to shine. And then that was when my uncle had stopped coming over as often because he had stuff to take care of. Yeah. And me and my dad sat down and played through the entire Halo 3. Halo 2, definitely the best game in the series. I don't know, dude. Halo 3 was like a perfect combination of Halo 1 and Halo 2. It was a perfect ending of the story. We'll yeah, but Halo 2 was definitely my favorite, like, yeah, fucking sure. Let me tell you where last saw. competitive, like, player versus each other-wise. Multiplayer, yes. Yeah. Halo 2 is bomb. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. But Halo 3 has Gravity Hammer, bro. Yeah, that's true. And the sword. And it is so much fun to wreck shop with a goddamn Gravity Hammer. <laughs> Have you ever played, <laughs> like, <laughs> up the speed 200%, drop the gravity to, like, half? And then fucking just go rocket launchers or swords only. You're just like, just fucking flying at each other. It's hilarious. Me and my buddy, uh, uh, back huh? uh, in Florida. You want to talk to me? What? What is it? It would be wise to rest up before Saturday. Fine. Uh, me and my buddy, uh, uh. Good idea, bruh. Fuck, Corey. Me and my buddy you Corey. You and your brother, fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but me and my buddy Corey. Fuck. The hunters are really out in full force uh, around here, huh? We made a Touch map butt. in a fort or uh -huh. where, uh, you know how there's a secret underground part on one of the uh, areas with the Guardian Towers where you go out too far? Uh -huh. They zap you. Is it cool that we yeah. You know that map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's that underground area, so we cleared out everything on top to give us more space to work. 
went downstairs and we put teleporters everywhere dude like i mean everywhere like they're so what you would walk out of one teleporter come out on the other side of the room like it was a room full of like random teleporters that sounds and awesome and then one area was walled off right uh -huh. and one of the spawn points was in there and in that area that was walled off was My. two hornets there was two hornets huh. a bunch of grenades and a rocket launcher and then there were guns and lasers or laser swords and grenades and rocket launchers sprouted out all throughout the uh the map the map where the teleporters were so, uh, there was also a bunch of invisibility cloaks. So, your goal in the hornet's nest was to kill the guy on the ground. Uh -huh. If you were on the ground, you were hoped to stay invisible long enough to blow up the guy in the sky. Right. And we, yeah. we released that online. I don't know how it's doing because I haven't checked, but like that was a lot of fun to play. I like how when you're running, after you get tired... Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh my god. She's just like, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. We're here. Do you want to know what he's like? He's like, he's like, oh my god. Why am I doing this? Uh. <laughs> you remember the Street Fighter? You beat up the car, the guy who owns oh, the car. Oh, he's like, <laughs> oh my god. god. So check this out. Yeah, I'm, I'm all camp. sticky and gross. Yeah, I'm all yeah. sticky and gross. Yeah. Sounds like you had a fun Friday night, my friend. Yeah, you know what it means when you're having sticky. When you're having sticky, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't finish talking. <laughs> Shut up! I would want to drink. <laughs> but yeah, yeah where do the members kids? Out? Be sure, be sure to use protection when you're having sticky. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's a slang. <laughs> I want, <laughs> I want to make a, a hashtag poster. having a sticky. <laughs> Let's do that on our Twitter. <laughs> hashtag having a like. Having some sweet sticky. <laughs> Having some sweet sticky. Having some sweet hashtag sticky. <laughs> and then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make like a service announcement, like the wear a condom poster. <laughs> like, yes. Use protection when you're having a sticky and it's just a mm. kid with a thumbs up. What am I gonna make? Some food. Did you not realize that they just pulled out an entire campsite out of their ass? I'm not in game review mode right now. I'm in play video games, get trashed, and eat gummy bears mode. That's true. We are having a couple drinks. But! <laughs> Watch. Fuck, did you just make Vegemite? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Vegemite <laughs> is an Australian, like, I get that, but like, tasty <laughs> thing, not a soup. Well, it's not just Australian. They also use it in Brazil and the UK. Well, I didn't know that. But look, they have a wreck, bitch. Fucking... <laughs> Show some national oh. sensitivity, bro. <laughs> they have a whole campsite. <laughs> they just pulled it out of the ground, man. You saw how many rocks were piled up there. Fucking, it's dehydrated shit. You take a rock, <laughs> sprinkle some water, tent. Take a rock, sprinkle some water, Vegemite. You what about chairs? <laughs> Two very curious rocks, but they're in the desert, though. So if they don't, like, sprinkle it with water regularly, it just closes up on them. <laughs> so, like, they're sitting in a chair, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> Damn it! Not again! <laughs> so one of the characters likes to take photos. They have a they have a fucking like mister in the tent. Not bad. Look, look at those bulls. Like a mist fan for when it's hot. What's nice. up, baby? What's up, uh, baby? I'm gonna nice say marshmallow that photo. fun bags. Uh, but then there's hey, he's doing a dab. Excuse me. They're both doing dabs. Actually, I like that photo. I'm gonna save it. You can share these photos on Twitter and shit. But then they had the, um, the like a mister Aww, in the tent. I'm gonna finish this joke are. if it kills me. My body is, <laughs> my body's like rejecting it. Your body's rejecting it. I keep interrupting you. And like just I'm like, no, just it not. must finish. Jessica just does not want you to tell this joke. Like I keep like doing the like the hiccup, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, they have like a mister in the tent that's like constantly spraying over them like a mist fan. <laughs> and like it breaks down in the middle of the night and the tent just falls and like turns into a rock with all of them in it and they're like, God damn it! Take care of the car Was that joke right. worth it? I I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes. I, I think I deserve full points. I, I put forth a lot of effort. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you Dude, like fuck two man. points. Like, you drank that entire your entire beverage. I'm like I had like two sips of mine and you're just like I'm a thirsty oh. motherfucker. I'm a thirsty motherfucker. Oh god, it's it's fucking it's about that time, man. I gotta collect my 
peppers so I can fucking make more food. Uh, fucking peppers. So many feet away, it's so far away. What I'm if, like, gonna run over here and jump the fence. You remember the show <gasps> Veggie Tales? Oh god, yes. The fucking show. Larry is... the Cucumber would have much different uses if that was an adult show. <laughs> what the fuck made you think of that? <laughs> fucking pepper. That pretty nice. God. <laughs> and that was like, oh god, Veggie Tales. Oh god, Larry the Cucumber. Do you think? Do you think, like, the girls who, like, attempt to use a Over cucumber there. up there, like, Cooter. frozen hot, like, actually clean it <laughs> after they put it back? Or do you Magic think they my fingers toss going up your cooter! Would you, like, just toss that? I hope they would toss that. Yeah, they just, they just like, put it back in the fridge. <laughs> Without even hope cleaning. nobody notices. Just Without like... even washing it, so it's just got, like, huh. that. This jet. must have been near their fish aisle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my first mini boss. I just have a robot sword. <laughs> yeah, it's look fine. At look at that beastly move you just pulled off. It's like a transformer sword. <laughs> well, how about we get back to this next time on the Saucy Monks, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Uh, bye, guys. Bye, guys. Fucking Veggie Tales, man. <laughs> veggie Tales. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the Veggie thing? Tales? <laughs> <laughs> tales that a veggie was told to never speak of. Why did you turn it into a pirate? <laughs> I don't know. It's felt right. They're at sea for long periods of time. There's a few female captain pirates. Maybe they got bored. I don't know. All you're allowed to take on those trips are veggies like salted pork. Put this in, Jose. <laughs> at the end clip. No, this is lo too long to be an end slate. This is just... Yeah. So this is a thing. <laughs> Anyways. Veggie Tales. <laughs>